everyone. Today I thought I would do a quick video on this projection screen that I just got from Amazon. Um, the weather is getting a little bit nicer here in Florida, so I wanted to try to set up this projector that I've had since last year. Um, try to have like a movie night outside or something. Um, the inflatable... <laughs> the inflatable movie screens are just too expensive to to justify using it, you know, every once in a while. And using plywood or something like that, that, it just gets, you know, it's too heavy and cumbersome to take up and down. This one obviously just folds up really easily. This is 150 inches. So let's see how it looks. Just wanted to show you guys, I did think about using plywood first. I have a lot of leftover plywood. I even painted it white. I was gonna put together some structure but I mean, this thing already is just so heavy. It's just not gonna be worth it lugging it out into the backyard whenever I use it and then finding some place to store it. So I think this, you know, foldable screen is gonna be a better option. We'll see. All right, let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, so it has some rope. Um. These are like sticky hooks. So probably if you're gonna have it indoors, like in the um, drywall. And more, more sticky hooks. Okay, so you can see the outside of it has grommets um, to hang. The material, it's honestly, it's kind of thin kind of see-through and thin. Um, almost feels like a cheap bed sheet. <laughs> it's not super thick. So we'll see how it how it hangs. It's not gonna be I feel like it's not gonna be stiff enough to not have bends everywhere. It's it's hung at the grommet. Um, so I guess I will use this rope. I'm thinking about hanging it on the fence over there for now. Okay, so I took the rope and I kind of just weaved it in and out of all the grommets across the top. Um, and I'll attach the two corners and then hopefully that'll give it um, kind of like a structure going across. Um, we'll see. Okay, so that didn't work great. Good thing I have zip ties. I think this is going to work a lot better. All right, I'm gonna see if I can show you how I did this on the on the fence here. Just I put the zip tie in between the stringer and the picket like that, and then put it through the grommet. Let's put you down for a second. Then once I get it like attached like this, kind of move the grommet to the top of the railing and then tighten it up there. I feel like that'll keep it from sagging a little bit. So this is just three zip ties I've used and I mean, it looks pretty good. There's just two in the corner, one kind of in the middle there. Okay, and this uh, rope that came in the package, I think I'm going to attach the bottom corners to the posts to kind of spread the screen out, make it more rectangular. Okay, so 
looks pretty good. Um, there's a couple wrinkles there. I probably can get that to be a little bit more straight um, if I pull the sides over a bit. But, I mean, that took all but five minutes with the zip ties. Um, so I guess tonight is movie night. We'll test it out and I'll, I'll show you how it goes. One other thing I wanted to say is this thing is huge. Um, one of the reasons I even wanted the inflatable screen was because they come like 20 feet big. They're huge. And most of these screens um, that are like this, you know, they're 100 inches or so, which, you know, isn't that much bigger than my TV, but this is 150 inches. I mean, this thing is gigantic. The, f the fence over here is eight feet tall. So that gives you an idea of how tall this is. And it's got to be, geez, I don't know, 10, 12 feet wide. So it's huge. It's going to look good, hopefully. So it's time to bust out the old projector. Haven't used this probably since last year. I think it's just a cheap one I got. Um, I could do a review on this too if you guys want. Uh, but I'm just going to use this connect it to a have it in here an old roku um and then a bluetooth speaker outside okay so here is the speaker i'm going to use by the way this thing one of the best amazon purchases i've ever made this thing is awesome um figured i could also use it as a shelf for my projector we'll see if that works and just got my power out here let's get it connected okay so i forgot this projector is not bluetooth so i think just an aux cord will do to input there All right, let's test it out. Okay, so it is like 15 minutes past sunset. And you can see here, I had to move the projector a little bit closer just to get it to fit. But it works pretty great. I mean, once the sun, you know, goes down all the way and it's dark out here, I think this is going to look great. Pretty excited about movie night. Had to put on like the best Halloween movie ever to do a true test. So you can see here, it looks great um, when it's completely dark out. Um, the screen really works well. I mean, it's so easy to put up and take down, looks great. So I definitely highly recommend the screen. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, I'll see you next time.